Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two-motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 49. Sponsored by our wonderful Patreon Patrons team. Thank you very much, guys, for your generous help. Uh, if you would like to join us, there is the link down below. Maybe you already noticed some changes in this shop. I reorganize everything over here. Here is now a lot of room, much better than before. And I have some changes. I did something with the welder so I can actually uh, use it very uh, much better. I have this chain link lift or whatever is the whatever is the English word for that. And it can move on this I-beam on the top. Last time before I left for UK, I found out that this differential over here was simply too far away from the axle and didn't work properly. Somehow I made this tube too long and it didn't work properly uh, for that reason. So today we are going to short it and make sure that it will work and I wanna get the tube finally done. I can feel that this cannot go further. I need to figure it out how. So this cannot go further now. Differential is okay, so it should be like this, shouldn't. Let me try if I pull it a little bit this way, if this cannot go further, if I pull it out a little bit. It can. So, logically, this should be all the way and when it touches, when it starts pushing out, it should be the, the position, logically. So heavy. Did it move? Yes, it did. Okay, it's pushing out now. So a little bit outside. Maybe like this. Let's measure it. It looks like 54 millimeters all around should be the proper distance from this point to this point. I think uh, it's locked now, and when I move this wheel, that wheel should move too. It does. Now let's unlock it, and we'll see if that uh, wheel will move or not. If it works properly, we have the distance. Yay, it works. Wheels is not moving, it's unlocked. We have the proper distance now. So let's take a look from the short distance. So we are measuring uh, the distance between this point of the calipers and the further point of the calipers. So we'll put it like this into the into the tube, into the flange, and you can see maybe we have about one centimeter over here. So I have to cut one more centimeter of this flange and I will be done. 
So we had seven and a half millimeters. I am adding, uh, let's do nine millimeters because we have to have gap between the tubes for the welding. And this is something what I missed last time, didn't I? Okay guys, the tube is ready to be cut, but I am done with cutting the, like I did it last time for hours. I'm done with that, no more. I'm going to build the tool, the machine, that will cut it probably 10 times quicker because it will be way more precise. What I'm going to use it? I'm going to use the shopping car from the supermarket. I'm going to use the plywood and we are going to use the tube left over from the Tatra. And we are going to use the differential, the front open differential we have no use for. We are going to use the part of the chop saw uh, stand for the grinder. You attach the grinder into this. I'm going to use this arm, bunch of fasteners and this threaded rod. We are not going to weld. I'm trying to save the, the most metal for the Tatra. I don't have much of it, so I think for this project, we will not need to weld. Let's go. Okay guys, and now I have to connect the plywood into the card platform, card wheel, wheel structure. And I'm going to do that with that. But I have to make it from that. They don't have everything in the hardware store, unfortunately. Day two. Hey everybody, it's another day. It became late because I had a late start and I didn't want to make noise over here late in the night. So let's finish what we started yesterday. I need to make some changes because I need to make it stronger. So I'm cutting another, another piece of plywood here. What the f And now let's go to finish these.
Okay guys, we have pretty strong platform for the tool I'm going to make. It needs to be strong because there will be probably about 100 kilos on it. This should be strong enough. These casters are already here on this workbench on the bottom and there is much more weight that we'll have on this tool over here. Okay guys, check this out. I already have it attached together, the plywood to the metal frame all the way around. The holes are over here, uh, but we are going to work on this now, so I will disconnect it for now. So guys, on that platform, first we are going to make a hole over here for this long threaded, uh, threaded rod, and we are going to use this hole saw drill bit. Is that the name for it? Let's go. And now I need to grind this big nut so these U-bolts will go there smoothly. And now I have this nut perfectly round from one side and uh, now I need to make these U-bolts a little bit the way I need because they are a little bit off. That's what the closest I found. So I need to modify a little bit these grooves over here to be able to attach these U-bolts. And we also need to modify this a little bit, a little bit bent it inside. Look at that. That's amazing. And now I need to uh, get rid of this kind of groove. It's higher a little bit, so I need it completely flat. It is a little bit tight over here around the spring, but still, still good. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. Unfortunately, this doesn't fit completely perfectly. As you can see, it's a little bit sideways. So I need to modify, I need to file a little bit more this hole over here.
day three. Hey everybody, it's another day. A lot of stuff is going on right now around here. So yesterday we finished with this arm so I can now connect everything together. Everything is modified the way it should be. So let's put it partially together with this rod and put, let's put it on this main platform. I don't even have the wrenches for this. <laughs> I have big impact, impact sockets, but not the wrenches. So now you know why I need a differential for this machine, right? For this tool. And how we are going to bolt the differential to the platform. I'm going to get rid of these gears. They are secured by these pins take them out and just simply bolt it together. Nothing is easy on this truck. <laughs> we have two done, four more left. <sighs> Nobody was killed. No, <laughs> my leg is not broken yet. <sighs> my God. Awesome guys. So I'm done with this one. So we got it, let's put it there. We got the differential bolted and now let's bolt this threaded rod with the grinder on the top of the platform. And the last step on this tube cutter is to work on this leftover tube we are going to get rid of this and I need to straight up this sharp edge of the tube. And you guys want me to wear the protection. And we are almost done with all of it. Take a look how nicely and straight is this cut and grind it. That's awesome. We are going to give it some uh, uh, very good uh, diesel bar. I know, I know, protection. <laughs> Two 
one arm. So this one is nicely clean. Inside out, I think at least. Let's wash also the differential, it's messy. That's awesome guys, take a look. I have it ready to, for completing. This, is, this differential was in this tube originally the way it is like this. We are going to flip it around and, and put it uh, into the tube different uh, opposite direction. It is heavy. Guys, we are done. Check this out. So the table, the turning table is ready and the arm with the, with the grinder is ready. And we just put the flange on the top of it. We will secure it with these studs. Like that. And we will just cut it. And I know I'm going to clean it, I'm going to paint it, to, I'm going to bold the platform to the, to the card actually. But I am really curious if it actually is going to work. So I will cut that flange just to know if it works. Before I'm going to cut the flange, I want to know how accurate this turning a table actually is. <clears throat> I finally put some money into inclinometer, so we will figure it out. Hmm. It's magnetic, but it doesn't have the flat surface over here. I have no way. You know what? I can tie it up, maybe. I can tie it up. What do we have the zip ties for, that, right? So let's watch it. Three tenths of a millimeter. Is it important for the welding job? I think it is. I should do something with that, shouldn't I? Guys, I have there about two tenths of millimeter right now. I might play it with that a little bit later. Now I wanna really know if I can cut the dam too. Guys, let's make a groove first and then we'll try to cut it, okay? Mm 
Wow, that's so damn precise. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's amazing. Can you imagine how much time this save, will save me in the future? Amazing. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that cut. Look at that cut. Oh my God, I don't have to do any freaking grinding. This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow, wow, can you imagine the next tube? It will be a matter of minutes. And I even didn't use two blades for this. Oh my God. So guys, this is it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you would like to support this channel, there are the links down below. Thanks for watching and see you on Tuesday.